Hey everyone, King 77 here from the Android Creative Syndicate team here to do a video showing you how to root the Motorola Photon 4G for Sprint. Um, I'm with my Motorola Photon 4G as you can see and um, this process is, isn't too difficult uh, thanks to a fellow ECS member, Android Creative Syndicate member, uh, Shabby Penguin. So just go ahead and click on the link in the description. Actually what I'm going to have you do first is on your Photon hit the menu button, go to settings and then go to uh, applications and then click on development and then check USB debugging right there. So have that checked, hit OK. Um, that's just something you're going to need for later. So that's the first step of the process. Once you have that checked, uh, go ahead and click on the link in the description, take you to the Android Creative Syndicate forum as you can see. Uh, as I said, big thanks to Shabby Penguin for putting this together for us. Uh, what you're going to need to do initially is install the drivers on your PC. So whether you have a 32-bit or 64-bit uh, operating system, choose whichever one you have. Uh, it'll download the zip and also just click on download right here. That's going to be the one-click download. As you can see, Photon all-in-one, one-click root. So download both of those, the drivers and the one-click root. What I'm going to have you do is now, uh, if you go to... The download, as you can see, Photon 64-bit is the drivers and Photon 4G one-click root dot zip OCR dot zip is the one-click root. So I'm going to install my drivers. I'm going to double-click on the zip file. You're going to need either WinRAR, WinZip, or 7-Zip to um, extract these. I have WinRAR. That's the one I use. So double-click on Photon. As you can see, the drivers right here. I'm going to extract it and extract it to my desktop and hit OK. So, that's going to put the driver uh, exe file on my desktop. As you can see, it's right here, Motorola end user driver installation. So, once that's on my desktop, I'm going to double click on it. <laughs> and as you can see, preparing to install. It says I have Motorola drivers already installed. I'm just going to go ahead and repair them, I guess, and hit finish. And I guess it's going to reinstall the drivers for me. Just so you guys can see what it looks like to get the drivers installed, because it is a pretty vital process with uh, rooting your phone. Just making sure you have your drivers installed for your device. Okay, um, it says installation complete now. Uh, just hit net, hit close to exit. So there you go, your drivers are installed. Now what you're gonna have to do is once your drivers are installed, go to photon4gocr.zip, double click on it. As you can see, there's a folder inside. You're just gonna have to hit extract to. I'm gonna extract that to my desktop as well. Uh, it's gonna put the folder on your desktop. Hit okay. Um, and as you can see, photon4g right there, I'm gonna move it over. Photon4gocr, right there. There's your one click root. Double click on it. Um, now what I'm going to have you do is, uh, I guess you can go ahead and click on the uh, root.bat. So double click on that, and there you go. Android Creative Syndicate presents to you one-click root for Moto Photon 4G. Special shout out to Edgen. Press any key to continue. So let me grab my uh, keyboard real quick. Have it on the floor. Ugh. All right, so now uh, I'm going to press a key. So it says you need to enable USB debugging, uh, which you already have done. So now go ahead and plug in your phone. So now I'm going to go ahead and plug my Photon into the, my computer like so. Just plug it on in. And once it's plugged in, it should uh, pop up your um, removable disks right there. I'm going to go ahead and just exit out of that. And then I'm going to swipe this down and select USB connection. And then just hit charge only. And then hit OK. So once I got charge only, um, then it should be good to go then. So now, once I, since I do have USB debugging enabled, I'm going to go back to my one-click root and press any key to continue. So I'm going to press key to continue. Daemon not running, starting it now. So it's starting it now. It says uh, getting temporary root and then it's reboot my phone as you can see so now once it reboots um, as you can see my phone rebooted it says hacking things now on the one click root deleting all your stuff um, waiting for phone to reconnect so it'll reboot my phone again and once it boots back up it'll wait for your phone to reconnect and then it'll do more stuff 
So I, I know it says RM failed after getting temp root. Just uh, disregard that, let it reboot, and then let it do its thing. All right, now that my phone has booted back up, it uh, plugged back in, it says remounting. It's gonna push all the files needed for root access to your phone. And now it says you should have root. Press any key to continue. So I'm gonna press the key and it's gonna exit out of the script. Um, as you can see, it reboots your phone as well. So once your phone, once your phone boots back up, you should have a uh, super user in your app drawer and you should have root access. All right, and now that my phone has rebooted, I'm gonna go ahead and unlock it. And then I'm gonna check in the app drawer. It should have the super user app to show that I am rooted. Um, as you can see right there, there it is, super user. So now my Motorola Photon 4G is now rooted. Um, I'm going to run, I downloaded an app from the market called Root Check, thanks to Joey Krim for it. Um, and I'm going to just have it, whoops, accidentally hit the power button. I'm going to go ahead and have it on basic and just hit verify root access. It's going to pop up super user request. There you go. Just go ahead and allow or deny, it doesn't matter. It says congratulations, you have root access. So there you go. That would be how to root your Motorola Photon 4G on for Sprint. Uh, all right, and now that I have confirmed that I do have root access, uh, as I showed, I'm now going to show you how to get free wireless hotspot on your Motorola Photon 4G. Uh, this is an amazing feature. Um, it, it's completely free, and now you can uh, connect your PC to your phone's internet connection, whether it's 3G or 4G. I believe 4G works. I am not able to test it since I don't have 4G right now in my area. But anyways, now go ahead and click on the next link in the description. It takes you to Android Wi-Fi Tether. Um, click on, it says new version 3.16 beta 6. Get it from here. So click it, download it. It'll be an APK file. Just transfer that APK file to your phone, whether it's on the internal storage or the SD storage, it doesn't matter. Um, once you have it on your phone, go to your app drawer and then go to your files app. And I put it on my internal phone, phone storage and as you can see it's right there, Wi-Fi Tether 36 APK. Click on it and then it pops this up, just install. So let it install the app for you. Application installed, hit done. And now once it's done, I'm going to go into the app. As you can see, I'm not connected to Wi-Fi. I'm connected to 3G at the moment. I'm going to go down to uh, Wi-Fi Tether and close it. And it says, no access control. Sorry, but your kernel does not have all necessary features for access control. Just hit OK. No problem. So now all you're going to have to do is press to start tethering. So press it. It should ask for super user access. Hit allow. And there you go. It should say, please wait, starting to tether. And now you're good to go. So now, head over to your PC. I'm going to disconnect from the wireless network I'm on now, my home network. And now once I've disconnected, um, it pops up as Android Tether right there. So just click on that and hit connect. It says connecting to Android Tether, which would be right there. It vi your phone vibrates and up at the top it says Tim PC, which is my name. Right there has has connected. And there you go, you're, look down in my PC, as you can see, Internet Access, Android Tether 4. I'm going to click on a new tab, go to the Android Creative Syndicate website, and there we go, loads right up. So as you can see, I'm now tethered to my Motorola Photon 4G, and um, I can just go ahead and hit home, and there you go, I'm connected, I'm going to click on the forums tab, and it should load right up, there you go. Just like that. So that would be how to uh, root your phone and obviously use free wireless hotspot. So um, that's pretty amazing if you ask me. But anyways, if you uh, have any questions, run into any problems at all, feel free to ask me. Leave a comment, send me a message. I'll be happy to help you out. You can follow me on Twitter at QBKing77. All links will be in the description of the video. Feel free to subscribe to me as well for future how-to videos. And as always, I hope you guys liked the video. Thanks for watching.